Today we are here to solve one of the most fearsome chapter which children are afraid of. That is menstruation. Most of the children are afraid of menstruation and they are very fearful to solve the problems based on it. So we are here to solve the workbook question from MTG chapter 10. Let's see. So here, we are going to solve all the problems just see this is a rectangle and this is a square so now what they are saying suppose this is l this is b and we assume the squares all sides are equal to the a so now it is given area of rectangle is equal to area of square this is my equation one and next it is saying length of the rectangle is equal to perimeter of square so this is my equation two Let's substitute equation 2 in 1. So 4a into b equal to a square. Cancelling a from both sides, what you got? 4b equal to a. Or we can write that b equal to a by 4. That means breadth equal to side by 4. So we got option C. That's it. Now, if you see this question, find the area of the sided figure taking the area of each square as one centimeter. This is none other than a counting question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So complete eight squares is how much? Complete square is eight. Now, now we count half of the square. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, Actually, we will not consider these two because if you draw, just see, these are less than half. So half will be this, 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 this. So half square will be four. Now, more than half. So we have to calculate more than half. So just see in the figure, more than half, how many squares you can get? So if you see, this is more than half and this looks more than half. So we can see two squares, two squares are more than half, more than half square. Now, less than half square, less than half square is how much? Just you see this one, if you draw it, this one is less than half. And if you see, if you draw like this, then this is half less. So I can show you drawing very nicely. So if you draw this, this is this much less. And if you draw this, then this much is this much portion less. Right, so what we are going to do, now we are going to find the area. So eight into one plus, 4 into half because 4 square has half of the part. Now more square than half. So a square which has more part than half we'll consider it as 1. And less than half square is how much? 2 squares. So we'll consider the area as 0. We'll very minute. So this and this will offset. So 0 into 2. So here you got 8 plus 10, 2 plus 2, 12. So that's how we have to solve this question. So see, if you have a rectangle, it's possibility like 16 meter square. So it can have length and breadth, different, different, like eight and two, 16 and one. If it will be like four and four, then it will become a square. So 32 and half possible because you will get 16. But we have 8.5 into 2, 
that means what will happen? 17 will happen, which is not equal to 16. So just that you got the answer. This was the most easy question till now. So see this question here, what we are going to do, we are trying to complete this figure. So if we draw like this, then you can easily see that this is a figure rectangle whose area is three into two. This is three, this is two. Now, if you see this side is given as 1.5. So this will be how much 1.5? And this is one centimeter. So this will be how much 1.5 into one plus. Now you see this big, this is three and this is six. So three into six, add them all. Six plus 1.5 plus 18. So 24 plus 1.5, which gave you 20.55 centimeter square. And here goes area of the given figure will be 25.5 centimeter square. Now see this question, which of the following is the best estimate of the perimeter? You have a rectangle given. So this measure 43.15 meter and this measure 30.72 meter. Perimeter is nothing but two times L plus V. So add both of them, double it. So how much you got it? Two times 30.72 plus 43.15, which give you 147.74 meter. If you round it off, you got 148 meter. And here goes the answer. So see this question again. So here we have a rectangle and we have a square and they have equal areas. That means 18 into 18 is the area of the square. And suppose this is L, this is V. So width is given as 12. So let's take it 12 and then we can find L. So L will be how much? Six times two, six times three, and two times we can cancel. So we got 27 centimeter. So perimeter is what? 27 plus, 12 times 2. So how much you got? Perimeter will be 2 times 39. That is 78 centimeter. So here goes the answer. So let's see this question. We have to find perimeter of the given figure. So let's start with this point. So if you start from here, we have 10. We go from this side. So 10 plus this point will be from here to here, okay? So this is given as 10, this is given as eight, so this is two. So this will be what? Eight, right? From here to here is eight. Now this one is what? This will be what? 10 minus 1.5, because this is 1.5. And now you see 10 plus 10 plus eight, because this side is eight centimeter. Now what about this side? So this is 1.5. So again, it is 10 minus 1.5. So you are here and then 110 again, right? So we can do by one more, this method, we go on adding and we can do another method. What I can think of that we can do very easily. What is the perimeter which is not counting off this part? See this part. So what is this perimeter? 2 plus 1.5, that is 3.5. If you double it, 7. So total area of two squares will be what? Sorry, perimeter, 40 plus 40, that is 80. So 80 minus 7, 73. That's give you the answer, 73. So I think this way it is much easier to calculate than going by this method. This is very lengthy and calculative. So we can prefer this. What is being cut off? So this part is being cut off, this part. This small part is being cut off, which will be not calculated as a perimeter. So this is 2, 1.5, 2, 1.5. So you find the perimeter of this part and going to subtract it. And that makes it more and more simpler. Now see if this was a wire. So 
this is bent to a shape of rectangle so the complete wire is we used to make a rectangle then what will happen the perimeter of rectangle will be 48 cm from here you get this now breadth of the rectangle is 1/3 of its length so we have l plus b twice of l plus b equal to 48 l plus b equal to 24 and then we can put l equal to 3b so 3b plus b equal to 24 so we have 4b equal to 24 b equal to 6 so the moment you got b equal to 6 l equal to how much 3 times b that is 18 so which 18 times 6 give you 108 so your answer for this questions comes 108 hope i am clear to everyone so let's understand this question so given figure is made up of a rectangle and a equilateral triangle the moment you say equilateral triangle it should strike you that all the sides are equal so all are 40 and the width of the rectangle is half so this is 7 cm and now this is 14 cm this is 7 cm so what we'll have for the perimeter perimeter will be so this will be added so perimeter will be and all the sides and so while calculating perimeter you have to only one thing you have to take in mind that perimeter is only the outer boundary so outer boundary is only this just you take care for that if you understand this then your job is done so it will be how much 14 114 214 314 14, 14 times 3 plus 7 times 2 so 42 plus 14 so which gave you 56 cm so when we learn the perimeter we learn the definition that perimeter is what just the sum of the outer boundary we will not add this 14 cm because in the outside boundary this 14 cm is not coming and that's how we got the answer now see this question the length of the given rectangular field is decreased by 7 m length is decreased so length is 56 meter that is decreased by 7 meter so we got 49 meter but they say the area is unchanged so here it will be 56 into 42 this is equal to 49 into x you don't know you have to find the new width so that is your x now you cancel by 7 7 7 ya 49 7 6 42 42 and then again by 7 8 so x is how much x is 48 meter Let's give you the answer, forty-eight meter. So I think after the class, you'll not more be any much scared of menstruation, and you'll enjoy reading. And I think now you can be able to just solve any of the question in menstruation. We'll be back again with the set two, with another ten set of questions. So come on, sing with me. so i think now you are no more scared you can sing you can dance and you can fly with successful color in your exams take care bye